One of the most popular grounded videos on my channel is Easy Trap for Capturing Aphids and Weevils for Pets or Infinite Food. In that video I showed a very simple build that would track aphids and weevils in very large numbers. Unfortunately the hot and hazy update broke the trap. The aphids and weevils will walk up to the edge but turn away instead of falling inside. I was able to modify it slightly to capture weevils but the aphids still refused to cooperate. Fortunately there is a way to recreate the trap to capture both and in this video I'll show you exactly how to build it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so now so you never miss any future grounded videos. Let's get started. This is the original trap that I built for aphids and weevils. And as you can see, there's tons of weevils inside. There are no aphids. If an aphid comes over, we'll see, we'll show you what's going on. Now there's one modification to this. So the original trap had this built like this, but I also had half stem walls inside of here. You could have put any kind of walls. I just used stem walls. Had these all the way around the edges. And what ended up happening was the having these here prevented the weevils from getting inside of it and it also stopped the aphids now getting rid of those walls the weevils will come in the aphids will not so if you just have if you already have this trap built and you just want to modify it and you only care about getting weevils all you have to do is destroy the stem walls or whatever kind of half walls you had inside of here and they will still walk inside as you can see so after realizing this didn't work anymore what i wanted to do in order to try to see if i could get aphids in as well was test different building things out so while I was in the process of testing the different building pieces, a comment came in on my original video from Tyler Matchow. Thank you so much for sending this comment. I would have probably eventually got to testing it, but I hadn't got to it up to that point. He said that he used the crow feather roof pieces and it actually worked for the trap. So what I've done here, I have tested this before. We're just gonna make sure I show you and it actually works. I've recreated the exact trap. Instead of using the clover roofs, I used the feather, feather roof pieces. He said he didn't put the corner pieces on, so I guess that could be optional because I did see the weevils can't get inside. I'm not sure about the aphids. It's a tight spot here, so I don't know if they can get in. I put them here anyway. So it's a total of 12 feather roof pieces and four corner pieces. You're gonna need 32 feathers in order to make that. So that's quite a bit of feathers. I would recommend, if you haven't been to the picnic table, if you don't have enough feathers to build it right away, if you haven't been to the picnic table, first time you go up there, you're gonna get probably between like around 15 or 16 feathers. The other places that are good for getting in are gonna be the bird bath. The last time I went over there, I got 14 pieces. I got two large feathers and, and two small feathers. And then, I have a, I built a house in my new survival world near the mysterious machine. And there were a, every, almost every day, every other day, there's been a crow feather dropping there. So there's plenty of places to get crow feathers. Just be mindful of where, where the crow moves from, where it spawns from, and you should be okay. I just saw a giant shadow. I have no idea where it was, but we're in creative, so it doesn't really matter. So anyway, you build it the exact same way. It's a, basically a three walls, three, three feather pieces on each side and then a corner. And then you build this little table in the middle. I like to build a little table here like this because they can't reach the, they shouldn't be able to reach the the food that I'm gonna place on top of it. I've seen other people saying you can just place it on the, the little stem, stem pillars here. You could also drop it on the ground, honestly, because when I was just playing my new survival world, I dropped a bunch of mushrooms over here and there were a ton of weevils over there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop these real quick. Now, in order to, if you haven't seen the first video, in order to attract aphids, you're gonna need plant slurry. So we're gonna drop a plant slurry two and then in order to attract weevils you can either drop mushroom slurry or you can just drop mushrooms so we're going to drop these right here let's move up a little bit oh I'll just drop one right here it shouldn't really matter as long as they're on the table they can't reach them so we got the mushrooms there and the slurry there and what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward ahead and see how see if they actually start walking in once they start walking once they start approaching it i will jump back in here and show you that it's actually working and that you should be able to use this going forward so there we have our first aphid just walked right in as it was expected to do. So as you can see, here's the aphid. So it's now 100% working for aphids. I know it works for weevils. We'll just wait a second and when a weevil comes over, I will show you that as well. And here we see our first weevil approaching. Hopefully he uh, walks in. He's thinking about it. It's right down there. He's walking back and forth pacing. There's one coming over there. And... Is he gonna fall in for us? All right, so there he goes. I don't know what happened on that corner. He decided to turn around, but we did get two more in there. So you can see right there, this was about, let's see what time it is. It is nine, it's been about two in-game hours and we already got four of them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna skip ahead till the next day 
and I'm gonna show you how many are in there after one day. The only thing you're gonna have to be mindful of, again, if you saw the first video, I, I think I mentioned in there is, what you'll end up have happening is the red worker, the red, the red worker ants will come in and hunt the weevils specifically. I don't believe ladybugs can get in there to hunt the aphids, but the red worker ants will come in. So you're gonna wanna make sure you come back and check it periodically because otherwise you could end up having a situation where red worker ant gets in there, kills everything, and then it all just, and then they eat it all and it's gone before you get back. So that's the only thing you're gonna have to worry about. But while I skip ahead, I'm gonna sit here and be careful that none of them come in here and ruin it just so you can see how many you can get in the course of one day. Okay, so I skipped ahead to the next morning. It's been about a full day. I think when I built it originally, it was eight or 9 a.m. the previous day. So it's been about one day, a little bit less. And as you can see, we have quite a few of each type of insect in here. We got four aphids, and I think we have about 11 or 12 weevils in here. So not bad for the first day, especially considering that the previous day I did clear out this entire area. There was a bunch of them in here already, and I cleared it all out before I built this. So there's a chance that it might take them longer to respawn. But this isn't bad for one day. I mean, obviously, you're only going to need a couple roasts. And if you want to eat jerky, five jerky. So five jerky, or I think two roasts, will fill you completely up. So this will easily fill you up every day or give you a couple days worth of food. And a couple things of note, if you're monitoring it, I would recommend if you built it where I've just built it to stay up like on this leaf right back here, because if you're too close, the aphids will 100% run away. They just won't go in. Or you can hide up on the juice box, or if you built a tower or something, wherever you build this thing, just make sure that you're not too close to it because the aphids will run away. And one other thing is if you see the aphids or weevils walking around the edge and just walking away, it's okay. They usually go inside of it. The, aph the aphids have been a little bit more finicky about dropping inside of it. They, ha As you can see, some of them did actually drop in, and I'm pretty sure I showed it earlier. They will drop into it. We have four of them in there now. The weevils are much more cooperative dropping in it. Almost all of them have dropped into it. Once in a while, I did see some going up to this corner specifically for some reason and then turning away, and then they would walk around, and usually they would walk into another side. But every once in a while, there would be a weevil that just decided, I don't want to go in there right now, and it just disappeared. I'm not sure. I, that weevil just walked right in perfectly fine. So I don't know if it's like maybe there's too many in there or what. Maybe you can make it bigger to try it out. If you make it, if you adjust it at all and it works a little bit better for you, let me know in the comments down below. That's how to build a trap for capturing aphids and weevils. I take advantage of it now because you never know when a future update will change the insect's AI and break it again. If you found this video helpful, be sure to click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. If you want to support the channel even more, you can become a member today by clicking the join card on the screen right now or via the join button or in the link in the description. Doing so will directly support the channel and help make more videos like this possible. You will also unlock loyalty badges and emotes that can be displayed in the comment section down below and in the chat during live streams. In any case, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.